All right, I'm Nick Truitt here at the 2013 Mountain Magazine bike test, and um, just going to give a quick run through on setup for these bikes. The fork setup and shock setup. Where um, rear shock, you're always going to set both of these by sag. So what you do is you get your your pressure. You're going to check your air pressure in the front. Um, typically on a Fox fork, it's it's hard to say exactly like a, a number or an equation to figure it out, but it's roughly 40% of rider weight. So if you get about 40% of your rider weight in there, like I, I run about 70 PSI in my front. Um, so you get that, get your pressure in there, set. Then uh, go to the rear. A lot of the shocks, they're each gonna have their own little, little spot to put air in, but this one varies a ton. Um, on a Yeti, even even across the board on a Yeti, there's you know five, ten, fifteen pounds difference from bike to bike. So this one it's going to be purely by sag. A lot of them are close to rider weight, so that might be a good starting point if you have no idea. So get rider weight in there. On these um, bigger travel bikes, like this thing's a five-inch bike. Um, we've got some six-inch bikes out here too. We're probably looking for about twenty percent sag. So you'll just uh, key there is just to get yourself up on the bike, let it settle into the suspension, push these little o-rings all the way down, and then without bouncing on it too much, you'll just kind of find your way back off the bike, see where the rings went to. This one happened to be ridden by a really light rider. Um, I've got probably 30% sag there, so we we'll probably reduce that a little bit. I'm going to have to add just a little bit more pressure and get those rings probably somewhere in there for this bike. So that's those are the basic things we're looking for. There's other adjustments on here. As you get more into it, um, I push down on the front fork and try to get my rebound adjustment right. So rebound is how fast this fork is coming back. So when I push down, that seems pretty good to me. If you wanna adjust that to make it slower and faster, the adjustment's down here. So if I go plus with rebound, that's making it slower. So if I crank this plus, plus, plus all the way, like righty tighty, I push down, the fork comes back super slow. So we're looking for kind of personal preference here again too. If I come all the way out, this thing's gonna be kind of just like pogo stick. So somewhere in the middle, find your happy medium. That's a little slow for me. So we'll call that good. And then on the rear, you've got a rebound dial, this little red dial right here. So make sure this is all the way open. So we've got climb and descend with this, this blue lever. So there's descend. Trail is in the middle. Climb is gonna be the, the least amount of movement. So get it all the way in descend. That's the most movement. Then just push on it and see how that rebound looks compared to the front. So kind of push on that. This seems like it might be a tiny bit faster. So I'm gonna give it plus on rebound. So just like one or two clicks. See how it responds to that. So the goal is when you jump on this bike and you push both of them down, it should come back at the same speed. Otherwise, you're going to get a weird bucking feeling. So those are the biggest things to get the setup right.